Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuru, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Violet. Here we are in Lavincia. Last time we found um, Chen Pao. This time we're going to continue our search for the legendary Pokemon of Paldea. All right, interesting assortment of Pokemon right here. Must say. All right. There's an item over here. Got a super potion. That's cool. Is that Cyclozar levitating? Literally over the cliff. Alright. That is not an item, that's actually a steak. All right, I actually thought that was an item. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, hello there, Magmite. Let's quick fall. Perfect. All right. So with that, we got ourselves a Magnemite. It moves while constantly hovering. It discharges electromagnetic waves and so on from the units at its side. A magnet Pokemon, Magnemite. All right. Added into the Pokedex. All right. Oh, they're getting cool. This is slightly claustrophobic, I suppose. But, that's fine. Alright. I believe this is where we took down the uh, Titan Orthworm. Oh. Okay. This is where we just were. Are we not able to climb? Alright, we got a Thunderstone for our efforts. Whoa. Seriously, Sableye, you're gonna bother me right now? Sableye, I really don't want to bother with you. There's a gimme ghoul. Did 
There's a raid right here. Normal type Delibird. Interesting. Oops. All right. That is the land it. I'm going to run. Okay, I don't have a choice if I want this item. So, Lantid, I need to kill you. Okay, it's not personal, so land it. It's not personal, but I'm gonna nuzzle you. Not personal. You got a sunstone for our efforts. Oh, there, Voltorb. We didn't catch you off guard? Okay. We didn't catch the Voltorb off guard, but we are going to catch it in a quick ball nonetheless. Alright, we got Voltorb. Another dex entry. It's usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball, because that many people. The ball Pokemon, Voltorb. Alright, Karkle. Hello. You wanna stay in this quick ball? Perfect. Alright. I mean, realistically, We can catch everything, that'd be nice. Due to the coal tar created inside it, the heap of coal in Karkle's black, um, back never falls apart, even when the Pokemon rolls around at high speeds. The coal Pokemon, Karkle. Alright. Trying to think of it, we also don't have Roly Poly. Growlithe. Alright, we're a little bit intimidated, that's fine. We do have Growlithe, so... Oh, look, it's a truck. Reminds me back of the... Reminds me of uh, back in the days when seeing a truck on the dock in Vermilion City was weird. Now... You know, not a big deal. It's just a truck. Whoa. All right, let's go catch this Rolly Coley. All right, so this thing. This thing does get access to recoil, so don't really want to weaken it too much. We can just quick ball it, that would be ideal. Perfect. Alright, so with that we got Roly Coley. Cool. Chunks of the surface of this Pokemon's body that have grown old and flaked off have long been used for fuel as an alternative to coal. The coal Pokemon, Roly Coley. All right, added into the Pokedex. I did not mean to run into this Orphworm. Oh, there, Hariyama. 
Do we have a Hariyama? Uh, we caught this thing off guard. Let's catch it in a quick ball. Since we did catch it off guard, we should be in a pretty good position to quick ball. Perfect. Perfection. Alright. It stomps on the ground um, to build power. It can send a 10-ton truck flying with a straight arm punch. The arm thrust Pokemon, Hariyama. Alright. Also, we are missing uh, Don fans, so that's something to think about. Not sure if they're available right here, but... So much stuff around the scaffolding. There's a guinea ghoul right here. Oh my goodness, okay. What are you doing, Marine? All right, acrobatics. Okay, cool. And there is a raid right here. items. Mock. Alright. Okay, Dratini was trying to get away from us. It did see us though, so we didn't catch it off guard. But let's quick call. On Dratini, make it easy. Perfect. All right, so with that, we got ourselves Dratini. All right, Palmot's gaining a level. It is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows longer. At the Dragon Pokemon, Dratini. All right. So that is actually going to fill up its uh, evolution line in the Pokedex. That is a Mimikyu. That is definitely a Mimikyu. Alright. So... Where even are we? <laughs> um, that's no man's land over there. Um, so we're near the shrine itself. So let's go away from the shrine. Okay. This looks like somewhere important. Well, there's a gimme goal here. Okay, maybe you have decent stats. 
All right, we got a critical capture here. I just bought one gimme goal with a good nature. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. What is your nature? Oh my goodness, you are careful. Okay. I mean, we are getting more gimme ghoul coins. How many is that now? That is 907. Okay. But interesting place for a, uh, for a gimme ghoul encounter. All right. Okay. We're falling down. We are quickly falling down. Wiggly tough. No, I don't want the jiggly puff. I miss how I can. Whoa. That thing just spawned right here. I want the wiggly tough. I miss how, like, in Legends Arceus, you could just control what you were trying to, uh, attack or catch. Although, I guess it's a bigger deal in a game like that where you can actually catch stuff from the overworld. Here, I mean, worst case scenario, um, you engage in a battle with something you don't want, so, you know, flee and try again. Okay, that thing is in crit range. And now we're infatuated. Okay, Palmot, come on. Come on. Alright. Well, it is middle of daytime, so... <laughs> uh, Dustfall ain't gonna cut it. I mean, I suppose the Love Ball could... Alright, you have, you have Double Edge. That's, that's no good. Okay. I should probably ultra ball, shouldn't I? Yeah, I got an ultra ball then. All right, here comes the ultra ball. Beautiful. All right, so with that, we got Wiggly Tough. That's another Dex entry. All right. The rich, fluffy fur that covers its body feels so good that anyone who feels it can't stop touching it. The balloon Pokemon Wigglytuff. That is... That is definitely a weird one. There's no question. Hello there, Grumpig. I don't think I have you. Alright, let's quick fall. Not sure if we have Splink or not. I guess we'll find out. First, we gotta deal with you. Alright. Side Shock. The question is, does Covet kill? I don't think it does. You are a level 50. Alright, perfect. Although you might go to sleep, and that could be an issue. Okay, let's Ultra Ball. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we got Grumpig. Of 
cool. It uses black pearls to amplify its psychic power. It does a strange dance to control foes' minds. The manipulate Pokemon... Or I'm pig. So what are, who are you, what are you manipulating? Alright, we do in fact have Spoink. And we're getting attacked by one anyway. Alright, let's leave the Spoink alone. I want the PM over here. Okay, so... Let's continue our climb in here. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center down there. Okay, let's just continue our, uh, glide. There's an item here. And a gimme ghoul. Well, um... Alright, I am wondering what... What is that Terra Pokemon? Tag tree thicket. That's a Grafii. What is your Terra type? Bug type. Interesting. Alright. Well, I guess we'll fire off you, and I'll break the Terra. I kind of a shame I couldn't catch you while you were Terra. Might have been able to use a net ball, but alas, it was not meant to be. All right, Ultra Ball. Cool. All right, we got Grafii. Each Grafii paints its own individual pattern. It will paint the same pattern over and over again throughout its life. The Toxic Monkey Pokemon Grafii. There should be Fungus around here, come to think of it. Alright. I'm gonna quick ball this thing. Perfect. Okay. So we are making. We are catching Pokemon as we go, so that's kind of useful, I guess. This Pokemon prefers damn places. It spurts out poison spores to repel approaching enemies. The mushroom Pokemon, Fungus. Alright. Oh, they're Impidimp. Alright, we caught the Impidimp off guard. Although, I already have an Impidimp. Alright. Anywhere we can heal?
So there is a raid den right here. Mimic is right there. Greedent. Fracture. All right. Well, oh, they're greedent. Let's quick ball you. Oh, critical capture. Nice. All right. Well, we're making more progress. This Pokemon makes off with heaps of fallen berries by wrapping them in its tail, which is roughly twice the length of its body. The greedy Pokemon greed it. All right. Ooh. Sorry about that, Komala. Wait a minute, do I have a Komala? You are comatose. I do have one, alright. Maybe a loon. No, I have spit offs. No, I don't want Dungus. Oh my goodness, was that? Oh, there, Shrudel. You have one of you. This is water type toxic croak. Interesting. There's a pine cone nearby. That's something that I uh, currently um, currently missing. Um, like right near us, huh? Okay, well, also there's a fire type raid. Oh, that's the fracture. I think we have it though. Um, okay. I don't think we have a Morgrim. Do we? Oh, we do. Okay. I legitimately cannot remember what we have and don't have. That's actually kind of sad, really. Uh, all right. Let's 
Team Star. Okay. Um, wait, do we have fracture? Hold on. We okay. I know we have Axu. We do have Fracture, we just don't have Haxorus. Alright. That's fine. I can live with that. Alright. Okay. We have Mudsdale. I only have Mudbray. We don't. Alright, let's do this. Perfect. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay. Its legs are fortified with mud and harder than stone, and they can reduce a large truck to scrap with one kick. The Draft Horse Pokemon Mudsdale. All right, added into the Pokedex. All right, Larion. Finally, finding one of these. Okay, Larion in the rain. Although it can't use it can't use stab anyway. <laughs> Burns into fire. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. So we are getting another evolution. Okay. It fluffs out its fur collar to cool down its body temperature, which can reach 1650 degrees Fahrenheit. The flame Pokemon, Flareon. Alright. Flareon is going to go to the box, and it's added into the Pokedex. We're still missing Umbreon and Leafeon. Other than that, we there's only two more evolutions to go. So that's actually not bad at all. All right. Um oh Hello there, little palmy. I'm gonna run. Okay. Hello there, Lichen Rock. Do not have one, so let's quick follow ya. If this doesn't work, then that'll be sad. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so we got Lycan Rock. Ooh, alright, level 90. Cool. Alright. It's been calm and it has a calm and collected demeanor. It swiftly closes in on its prey and then sli and then slices them with the rock in its the rocks in its mane. The wolf Pokemon, Midday Lycanroc. There are a lot of different Pokemon right here, not gonna lie.
All right. We're about to get attacked by a uh, Halucha, aren't we? Whoa, Jimmy Ghoul, I want your coin. Alright. Getting two coins from Gimme Ghoul. Not entirely sure why we want all those Gimme Ghoul coins, but... You know, we apparently want them. Alright. Bottle cap, not even bad actually. Okay. Here we go. We are really high up. Is this back to the You know what? We don't have an Amoongus. Alright, I'm gonna quick ball this thing. Alright, that's not gonna work. Um. Alright. I guess I'm crunching it. We're about to go to sleep, aren't we? No, we're getting toxic. Alright, well, the bright side, if we're getting toxic, that means it can't use Spore. Alright. Also, wait a minute, why am I netballing? Why am I netballing? You're grass poison. You're grass poison. What am I thinking? What am I doing? I'm looking at that low kicks behind it. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Okay, let's Ultra Ball. Is that a Luxray behind us or a Luxia? Yeah, that's a Luxray. All right. Okay, we are catching it. Okay. The Moongus mimics Pokeballs. It is not yet clear whether this mimicry is effective against other Pokemon. The imposter Pokemon, Amoongus. Alright. There is a Lucario somewhere. So it seems, at least. And there is... Hold on. Yep, 
We hit the destination, and yet there is no Lucario. Huh. This map thing be weird. Why does it say there are Pokemon here that are not here? I wouldn't say there's a Pokemon here if that Pokemon is not here. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Alright, well. We checked. Well, perhaps healing up is the way to go for right now. Considering that is that we are, you know, of low health. Yeah, I think those bears just live in this Pokemon Center. Just straight up. Alright, well, we are all healed up at this point. So, at least there's that. Is there an explanation for, like, these weird, like, very... Very smooth looking rock formations at the top of these peaks. Kinda weird. that we can't just fly what we can do is basically fall fall but slowly there's gotta be another stake somewhere that's like high up or something of course this would get us back to Glaciato Mountain We're not going to make it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this would be the watchtower then. This has to be the watchtower. Here we go. Okay, hello there, Weavile. I meant to attack you off guard, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. But, if you would, wouldn't mind, please stay in this quick fall. Make my life easy. Would ya? No? Okay, I see how it is. Alright. I don't think bite or kill. Although, is it worth taking the chance? I, I think I kind of have to. 
Oh yeah, that doesn't kill. Although, I don't even think that's crit range, honestly. I don't even think you're in crit range. Okay. And we get the flinch. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go over the Great Ball. Come on, you're in the red zone. Let's go. Alright. So, we got Weavile. That's another dex entry. They travel in groups of four or five, leaving signs for one another on trees and rocks. They bring down their prey with coordinated attacks. The Sharp Claw Pokemon, Weavile. Kind of funny that we have uh, we have Zoroark, but not Zoroa. I'm guessing Zoroa disguised as something else, like the Zoroark did. Or that's just a guess. All right. Okay. Gimme ghoul. Oh, I'm just gonna bite you. Get some coins. Hold that for 10, really? Really? Alright, well, whoa. Okay. Let's see, what is this Terra Pokemon? Avalog. I believe we have Haunch Crow. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna laugh at... The Avalog should be a rock type, honestly, because that would be a nod to the, um... The Hisuian one. Alright, um... Alright. I know we don't have gum shoes. I don't think we have young goose, honestly. Do we? We might. I don't know. Either way, might as well start with this. We'll easily see in the Pokedex if we have it. If we don't, we can just pick one up. If not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Alright, we got gum shoes. Simple enough. Gumshoe specializes in relentlessly tra um, tracking down prey. The simple-minded school of it doesn't seem to provide Gumshoe's enough challenge. The stakeout Pokemon, Gumshoe's. Uh, we do not have Young Goose. Alright. Alright, Young Goose. I'm not even going to bother with the quick ball because you are not worth the quick ball. I could probably catch you in a great ball, honestly, but I didn't feel like messing around. It spends its waking hours searching endlessly for food when Young Goose is hungry. Its ferocity gains a certain edge. The loitering Pokemon, Young Goose. All right. Oh, here we go. There's the... Gimme ghoul. Hello there, Psyduck. You're just on cloud nine right now. I honestly can barely see a thing right now with all of the snow. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Whoa. Um. What well, item? All right. Um. Wow, there are a lot of go-go here. Uh, Alright. I just want the item. Got the TM for Body Slam. Whoa. Oh, there are Axu. There are items here. We got Will O Wisp. Hello there, Palmy. I want the item. Why is it so blurry? I thought I saw another item somewhere. Ocean. We're getting attacked by a low kick. Whoa, we're falling off. Wait a minute. That is no item. That is a stake. That is definitely a black stake in the ground. All right. That's a gimme ghoul. And I'm sorry, it's bathroom. I did not mean to run into you. I'm just gonna crunch just because just because. All right. Well, um, we're about to fall smack into the middle of this base, aren't we? Yeah, we are certainly doing that. In prison, I'll take it. Okay. Well... That dig of dirt.
There's a raid over here. It looks like a fairy type one. Fairy type dash fun. So that's that's actually kind of boring, honestly. Okay. We are... Where even are we? We're like right near Lavincia. Uh-huh. Well... Lavinti is over that way. No, I don't want to mess with Ghastly. Hello there, Squawkabilly. All right. Not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of people straight up don't like Squawkabilly from what I'm hearing. Honestly, I kind of like it. I mean, to each their own, I suppose, but... getting we're getting lag here dang all right well um huh there is a steel right over there where is... That's the shrine. Alright, let's fly somewhere near the shrine. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, here's Ampharos. Hello there, Ampharos. I kind of need you for the Pokedex, so if you don't mind staying in this quick ball, I would very much appreciate it. Alright, well, unfortunately, that puts us in a bit of a situation here. You see, because... Alright, I have to bite you now. Now we're paralyzed because, of course, we're paralyzed. <laughs> Alright, Discharge probably would have paralyzed us anyway. The silver lining is we can use a Dust Ball. Alright, Critical Capture, we're good. 
perfect. Okay. So with that, we got Ampharos. All right. Perfect. When it gets dark, the lights from its bright, shiny tail can be seen from far away on the ocean surface. The light Pokemon, Ampharos. All right. That is another Pokemon we can... We can successfully say that we have acquired for our Pokedex. All right. Okay, there's a gimme ghoul that was somewhere there that was trying to taunt me. I'm not going to let it taunt me. I'm just going to... Except that I couldn't find it. Alright. Now, where exactly are we, I think, is the operative question. <laughs> Um, okay, so hold on. This is this would be north. Uh, north is up at this point, I think, give or take. Something like this. All right. We have checked a lot of area at this point. We've checked a lot of places. So, um... here. There's an electric rate. Oh, there's an item we missed. Oops. Okay, this is an electric gum shoes. Okay. Well, we now have gum shoes, so that's not really going to help us all that much, is it? Murkrow, what are you doing? I get very easily disoriented. I don't know why the map can't just stay like in some there can't be a setting so the map just stays like with like one direct or with like up being north or something or have a setting so you can choose for that. Alright, I'm falling into the water. So apparently I'm in the I'm in the no man's land right now. I'm in no man's land. I thought I was already here. Yeah, I think I've already been here. We've already been here. Definitely already been here. All right. All 
Oh my goodness, low kick, can you please just get out of my way? Like, this is actually starting to get annoying and whatnot. Oh my goodness, and now you're gonna throw me probably into another battle automatically. Okay, I'm just gonna forget the other item for now. Well, and this is where we just were. Looks Well, there's the Pokemon Center. Oh, I found the Gimme Ghoul. All right, there's the Gimme Ghoul. Okay. Well, can't say I didn't find the Gimme Ghoul at least. Alright, um, that's something. Alright. Well. Oh my goodness, why are we not able to climb up here? Oh, is that the edge of the map? Wait a minute, up until now we still haven't had a leaf stone? What is this? Alright, well we're... In calf squad territory now. All right. Well, why are we not able to climb? All right, well. Okay. Whoa! That is... That is a stake.
That's a gimme ghoul. And here's a steak. Perfect. Okay. These steaks are very hidden. I'll give them that. Crumbled and vanished. <gasps> we got the last one. We heard a mysterious cry from the shrine. Okay. Finally. Alright, there is... A Lucario and a Houndoom. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm gonna forego the Gimme Ghoul. Why am I not finding a Lucario? Alright, here's the Gimme Ghoul. Hello there, Lucario. Hello. Finally finding one. We got the quick fall. It's connecting. Let's go. With that, we got Lucario. Perfect. Okay. A well-trained um, one can use its aura to identify and take it then take in the feelings of creatures over half a mile away. The aura Pokemon Lucario. Alright. Another entry into the Pokedex. Getting attacked by Riolu. Well we have Riolu, so I'm gonna pass. Alright. There's a Houndoom somewhere. And I'm not sure where. Where might I find a Houndoom? If I were to search for a Houndoom, where might I find one? Oh my goodness, you my bad. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay, I want to try looking on top of this rock. Maybe it's up here. Is there nothing up here? Well, now there's Noibat and, Noi and Noiburn and the low kicks. Huh. That is... That's kind of sad. I'm starting to think we're just not meant to find a uh, Houndoom. Alright, I guess we'll look another time. Although, Arcanine? Hello there, Arcanine. I believe we tried catching Arcanine before, I think. Did we? I don't know. It is a real legend. Okay. 
Awesome. With that, we got Arcanine. Cool. A true legend indeed. Its magnificent bark conveys a sense of majesty. Anyone hearing it can't help but grovel before it. The legendary Pokemon, Arcanine. And of course, we're getting attacked by a little Growlithe. A little puppy. Alright. Yeah, I do not see a Houndoom here. I think I can confirm there's no Houndoom here. That's, you know, that's kind of sad. Maybe we can get Houndoom in that cave from that we were at at the beginning of the game, maybe? You know, all that's up here is low kicks. That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna forget this whole thing. Let's go to the shrine. We're gonna get attacked by a thousand and one Pokemon, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Um, let's put Palmod up front. And before the game actually just casually crashes on me. I'm just going to save. Alright, let's do this. A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Yes. Okay. Go oh, bang. so small! <laughs> is that like a fire type fish? That is... Chi Yu's Beads of Ruin. Chi Yu. It's so cute! Alright. I should have known that the quick fall wasn't gonna work, but hey, you know what? It did work the first time. Alright, let's nuzzle. Okay, so clearly it's not all that bulky. Alright. Full para. Alright, let's weaken it with nuzzles, I guess. Okay, the thing is... I think it's- oh my god, that thing packs a punch. Although I think it's in crit range. Alright, Bread is immune to fire, so... Okay, I'm assuming if it's anything like the other ones, it's probably part dark type. I'm just afraid the bite'll kill. Oh, especially if it swaggers. It doesn't make contact, so I can't just switch in Joffrey to get the uh, Rocky Helmet damage off. Okay. Okay, so the Dust Ball is really the best bet we've got right now. I mean, we are in a cave, so even if... Oh. You know what? Perfect. 
It does have a contact move. All right. Cool, all right. Let's bring bread back in, so this way if it goes for lava bloom, we're immune. Ruination, okay, that's fine. Oh wow, that's damage. Okay, I dare you to bounce again. I dare you to bounce again. I dare you. Ruination, oh my goodness. Does that just do more damage the more health the opponent has or something? Come on, just bounce. Is it just like a reverse crush ball? Alright, come on. Just stay in the ball, please. Let's go! With that, we caught Chi Yu. Alright. The envy accumulated within curved beads that sparkled multiple conf I mean, sparked multiple conflicts has clad itself in fire and become a Pokemon. The ruinous Pokemon Chi Yu. All right. Oh, you are jolly. That is not great. <laughs> um, timid would be much better. But with that, we caught Chi Yu. All right. So with that, we can actually head back to school to check in with, um, Miss Ryford. So we can actually go check in with Miss Ryford at this point. So let's do that. Now that we caught all four of the, uh, A legendary treasure Pokemon. It was it the treasure of ruins? Okay. Eric, did you find any of the treasures of ruin? Yes. Oh, you caught Ting Lu, the vessel of ruin. Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. Judging by its shape and size, this vessel was almost certainly not for everyday use. Perhaps it was a work of art. Or better yet, a ritual artifact housing some sort of deity? I feel that there must be some meaning behind the horns and the designs resembling eyes. Could it be that this artifact was fashioned after the deity's very appearance? This mystery grows even de ever deeper. Uh, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched. Hmm. You look like you have something more to report. What is it? Oh, you caught Chin Pao, the Sword of Ruin. Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. So the sword's blade and hilt form. Uh, hilt form the Pokemon's left and right fangs. I wonder if this sword broke when it became a Pokemon, or perhaps it was always that way. No, wait. I cannot imagine the king wanting to go to buy a broken sword. Maybe it was some sort of weapon that was meant to be, um, meant to be used in this broken state. This mystery grows ever deeper. Uh, my thirst for knowledge is simply being is slowly being quenched. And you'll get something more to report. What is it? Oh, you caught Wo Chen. The tablets are ruined. Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. I've never seen so many wooden writing tablets strung together. It must have been an epic tale. Most excavated tablets are tantamount to graffiti or simple, or simple memos. Still valuable tools for learning about the past, but nothing like this. I can't read it, but given the length, it must be a story, yes, or perhaps the words of a curse. If only the words weren't faded, how frustrating. These wooden tablets pique the curiosity of a king. What might have been written on them? This mystery grows ever deeper. Ah, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched. You look like you have uh, something more to report. What is it? Oh, you caught Chi Yu, the beads of ruin. 
Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. Beads like this were thought to be sacred and thus worn during religious rituals. I believe they were most often worn as a single bead on the neck, like a pendant, but it seems Chi Yu has four of them. Were the beads worn in pairs, like the ears and wrists? Or were the rituals perhaps performed by four people? What on earth could have caused beads such as these, originally used to ward off a disaster, to become bringers of disaster themselves? This mystery grows ever deeper on my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched. Seeing part of history with my own eyes fills me with joy. I thank you, Eric. This is simply amazing. You now report it back to me with all four of the treasures of ruin. I never thought you would have been able to do this much for me. You have my thanks, Eric. I would like to um like I would have liked to go looking for the treasure of ruin myself and make them my own. But I suppose it was precisely because I sent you, someone with a pure heart, that we were able to accomplish this feat. Oh, she thinks she doesn't? They may be the treasures of my dreams, but I will allow you to have them for now. Consider this a symbol of my gratitude, too. Take it, it's yours. We got TM140 Nasty Plot. What is she planning? Dang. Heh. <laughs> you truly are an interesting one, aren't you, Eric? I hope you don't mind if I continue to keep an eye on you. So we formed a close bond with Miss Ryfort. How are the treasures of ruin faring? If you ever find them too much to handle, I will gladly take them off your hands. Alright, so she is... She is planning something. Dang. Well... With that, we have, uh... We have successfully captured um, all four of the Treasures of Ruin. Can we heal at home? We haven't been home for a while. We still have quite a ways to go in terms of catching Pokemon, though, for the Pokedex. I guess at some point we can probably check in with, uh, with Mr. Jacques about it. But... Let's go heal up. Oh my gosh, you're home. Your Pokemon are a bit weary, though. Alright, thanks for healing me. Seems faster than a Pokemon Center. There you are. Nice long nap is uh, all a body needs to feel ready for more adventuring, right? Doesn't matter whether you're a person or a Pokemon, we all need to take time to rest. Alright. So, there we go. We have, uh... Successfully caught all of the legendary Pokemon of the, uh, well, the Treasures of Ruin. So that's pretty cool. Um. Ooh, item. A Pokeball. That's fine. Nothing wrong with a Pokeball. Alright, but... There are still more adventures to, uh, to go on, though. Although we do have all of those legendary Pokémon, but for the most part, I think we've pretty much accomplished most of the stuff that we gotta do. That being said, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we continue our adventure here in Pokémon Violet. Goodbye. <laughs>